Hey everybody, here's a tutorial on how to make a snapping snail. If you notice, this isn't your average looking snail, it's a turtle crossed with a snail, specifically a snapping turtle. So uh, this is how we do it. I'm going to start it from the beginning, here you go. So the first thing we need to do is work on this snail picture. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our cloning tool. Um, here it's the stamp tool, so you hit S and uh, you hit option to select the area that you want to clone. In this case, we want to clone out parts of the snail that are sticking up and getting in the way. We have now a part of the uh, background that we could drag to wherever we want. And we're going to line that up with our horizon and it's really simple. We basically just erase the things that are in our way. Now, if you're not careful, you'll end up with like little marks like this from the edge, or sometimes you'll duplicate over a part of the snail that you didn't mean to or didn't want to. Not a big deal, just a quick little touch up. So I'm going to select a little bit more of the snail here, um, and uh, just erase a little piece of it, and that should be good right about there. So now. I did a, uh, a clipping mask on this earlier. I used my pen tool. I traced around the turtle head. Um, it's a little, little complicated, but it's something that you could pick up after a few tries, probably. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to separate my two canvases. I'm going to drag the turtle head over into the snail picture. Obviously, this is way too big and in my way. Oops. Drag that onto my desktop. Not meant to do that. Um, so anyway, to scale it down, hit Control T. That's your transform tool, or not Control, uh, Command. And uh, we're gonna scale this down. I'm hitting Shift and Option, or Shift and Alt, and uh, this is gonna scale down our turtle head. Well, that's not bad. We're gonna also flip it horizontally. And we're going to rotate it into the position that we like, which is about there. It looks like a turtle. And right about there. Looks pretty good. So from there, now we get a little bit artsy with it and we uh, start blending things and cutting things out that we don't want. So here I'm going to use my eraser tool. I'm going to soften up the edge on this. It's pretty straightforward stuff. Um, this is fine here. I'll deal with that in a minute. This up here, we're going to do that. That's fine like that. Um, all right, now we have our turtle head. So now we just use our pen tool follow along the snail's back as well as the turtle's head, curve around, take out a nice piece of turtle that's in your way. Um, that's using our pen tool. Uh, then we use our M tool, our marquee tool, click off of that. It's not too bad. And then we again use our pen tool down here, go through it. We. Uh, find our line of the snail where it matches up with the turtle's neck. Just start taking pieces off that are in our way. Uh, I'm not going to feather it, so we're just going to hit OK, erase, click M again, click off that, and we are pretty much uh, good to go. Now, I'll line up what we need here. Maybe drag that up a bit. Um, I'm, I kind of messed up on the turtle's head here a bit, but we're just going to change the shape of his head to make it uh, flow nicely. Again, make selection, hit OK, delete, oops, hit the M key, and there we go. The turtle's head is now nice and smooth, and uh, we're getting close, it's starting to look like a turtle snail. So. Now, again, we're going to use our eraser tool. We're going to go much bigger and make sure the hardness is very low or at zero. 
And that way you can just kind of tap gently for the things that you don't want. It's not bad. It's not great. But I'm just giving you a rough idea of the things you need to do. Use our pen tool. I'm just going to select this particular spot I don't like. It's that little shadow is throwing me off. So I'm going to go uh, select our pen tool, make selection, feather zero pixel, pixels, and uh, use our stamp tool again. And just gently ease into that. Perfect. Um, now we just look at our turtle head. Can I go image adjustments, hue and saturation? Here we can change the color of the turtle's head to match it up a little bit better. And that's not too bad, I guess, a little orangey red there. If you zoom out, you see we have a pretty good looking turtle snail thing. It's kind of creepy looking. Um, still, I think its head's coming too far out, so we're going to have to bring the head back a bit. And that's starting to look more like a turtle. So now we're going to use our stamp tool again. Just go to the background here. Oops. Wrong layer. Let's it's looking pretty good. Here I go again, cloning things that I don't want to clone. And uh, it's all right. It's all right. I'm not. I'm not crazy proud of this one. <laughs> Make sure you select the right layer. And uh, weird. your eraser make sure you also erase the right things Oops. Now we're gonna use our smudge tool we're gonna work on this back layer just gonna drag the color out behind the turtle's neck because you can see it's a little faded there. So now it's looking a little bit better. And <laughs> now we have a pretty good looking snail turtle. Anyway, I hope you uh, found this helpful or at least uh, slightly entertaining. Uh, and that's about it. If you have any questions, I know, I know I've kind of skimmed through this, um, but feel free to uh, ask any questions. Show me your work. I'd be curious to see what kind of animals you put together. And uh, yeah, if you, yeah, yeah, kind of a bad ending because uh, I've got nothing else to say. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.